traditional alliance selection followed by playoff matches to determine our ultimate champion alliance. Until then, let's get underway with qualification match number 36. First to score, looks like it will be the red alliance in the outer port. All three of those red robots putting up at least five power cells apiece. That gives them an early score of 94 coming out of the double valued autonomous period at the beginning of the match. Robots have raced back to their loading zone. Only two red robots though make their way to the loading zone. It does look like Jason stayed behind for just a moment to play some defense against red blue robots rather as they made their way back to their target zone after loading up with power cells. Jason now though did take some time to move back to the loading zone for the Red Alliance and they will make their way to that power port for Red doing their part to add at least six more points to the Red Alliance score. Blue though is fighting back, Aleem putting on a few more power cells to that Blue Alliance total bringing them to 38 cells, 134 points for the Blue Alliance. Red though has extended their lead, 51 power cells, 173 points. All three Red Robots loading up their hoppers as full as possible. There are plenty of power cells available on the ground. Part of that, though, is because the Blue Alliance has now started to catch up. Every power cell scored by the Blue Alliance is entered back into play in the Red Alliance loading zone, just like in a traditional game of infinite recharge. Taco Troll for the Blue Alliance was getting into that Red Alliance loading zone, playing some defense against Jason and Logan in red. Although after being in contact with one of those robots for five seconds, they were reset and placed back onto the initiation line where their Blue Alliance robot started the match. Under one minute remaining in the match now, still a Red Alliance lead, but we've seen Blue fight back before and they've still got plenty of time. Taco Troll working on emptying a very full hopper for the Blue Alliance. They put up seven more power cells. That's at least 14 points. Archer is doing the same. It looks like at least seven power cells for Archer as well. Just eight points of difference at the moment. Jason, Hayter, and Logan all, though, in scoring position for the Red Alliance. These teams have about one more scoring cycle left in them before they will be forced to climb in the rendezvous point for their respective alliance. Hayter is already there for Red. They're going to make sure they can secure a 25-point climb and hopefully contribute to a level shield generator switch for a 15-point bonus. Blue, though, behind by just about one point. Those robots getting up off the ground in the final moments of the match it does look like at least three red robots up off the ground and possibly three blue as well indicating a red alliance victory at the conclusion of qualification match number 36. those final results red 409 blue 3888 for the Red Alliance, they scored 106 power cells and 90 endgame points. That means a four ranking point match for the Red Alliance. Blue not walking home empty handed. They also get two ranking points, one for power cells more than 90 and one for a 65 point or greater endgame. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.